will give you a temple that is better than the Diswatsika. You know, Prabhupada couldn't refuse that. And Prabhupada said, all right. And then, of course, Prabhupada came to India and Prabhupada got the Krishna Balaram Mandir. When Srila Prabhupada was leaving at the airport, my son Gopal was three years old. And he sat next to Srila Prabhupada with all of his servants while we were waiting for Prabhupada to board the plane. And they offered Srila Prabhupada a glass of orange juice. And Prabhupada said, give it to him, he will drink it. So my son drinks the orange juice and then they give the cup back to the servants and they fill it up again thinking we'll give Prabhupada another glass of orange juice. And Prabhupada said, give it to him. And then he says, he says, you want to come? He says, where's your ticket? <laughs> and then um, he, he nudged him with his arm and he said, so you'll be the next Acharya? Like that. Devotees were all putting on garlands and I came up and paid my obeisances and touched Prabhupada's lotus feet and put the garland on him. And then when I bowed down to, to touch Prabhupada's feet again, he looked down at me and I looked up and that was the, when I knew that this was my spiritual master. After that, m my material life was like a waning moon. No nothing really that I w had been doing before was any longer satisfying. And I would just remember that and think of Prabhupada and, and want to do more and more devotional service. That was the effect that Srila Prabhupada had. Prabhupada had been in L.A. for eight months. It was <laughs> just the longest period of time. I mean, the devotees in L.A. had become so accustomed to Prabhupada's presence every day. And they just had him. And they were so, they just cherished him. And the L.A. temple was was just growing like anything. Prabhupada's presence just seemed to you know, make everything blossom. Devotees were joining every day. Everything was really expanding. So the devotees were very attached to Prabhupada. Eight months he had been there. Then not only was he leaving, which they, they kind of thought that he would never leave, and the LA temple had set itself up, it was managing in such a way that he didn't have to manage directly. He had good managers there and he was very pleased with it. So he could stay there peacefully and do his translation work and do his writing and do whatever he wanted and there was no inconvenience for him. So when Prabhupada said he was leaving, it was a, it was a shock. And then not only did he say he was leaving, but he said because he was old, he said there's a, a good chance he wouldn't return, but we should carry on the movement. Anyway, so the devotees took that very hard. At the airport, everyone was crying. We ran out to the fence to watch the, the plane. And new devotees, old devotees, everybody was crying. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare. Krishna Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare when I would come down from Berkeley to LA to see Prabhupada, you would fall asleep in the Brahmacharya Ashram to Vishnu Janan playing harmonium. And then you would wake up in the morning to Vishnu Janan playing harmonium. And you would, you would never know if he ever even slept. I mean, maybe he did. I'm not saying he didn't sleep, but I mean, that was like how non-stop Krishna conscious Vishnu Janan was. You sensed that about being in Vishnu Janan's presence, that he was just an otherworldly being. To see Vishnu Janan and Srila Prabhupada was the most wonderful thing to watch. When, 
of course, everybody wanted to have Prabhupada lead Kirtan when Prabhupada was there. But Srila Prabhupada would always want Vishnu Janan to lead Kirtan. And when they would look at each other, you'd start crying sometimes just to see Prabhupada and Vishnu Janan <laughs> looking at each other. You know, there was just so much love the way Prabhupada would look at them. You never saw anybody ever look at anybody like that.